What is intermediary metabolism in biochemistry? If you're curious about how our bodies convert the food we eat into energy and the components that make us who we are, you're about to uncover a fascinating process called intermediary metabolism. Intermediary metabolism is essentially the set of chemical processes that happen inside our cells to turn the nutrients from our diet, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, into energy and the building blocks of our bodies. This process is a complex series of enzyme-mediated reactions that are tightly regulated and coordinated. Let's break it down. When you eat, your body breaks down carbohydrates into glucose, proteins into amino acids, and fats into fatty acids and glycerol. These basic substances then enter various metabolic pathways. For instance, glucose from carbohydrates can enter the glycolytic pathway, where it is converted into pyruvate, and then further into acetyl-CoA, a key intermediate that feeds into the citric acid cycle, also known as the Krebs cycle or TCA cycle, in the mitochondria. In the citric acid cycle, acetyl-CoA is oxidized to produce energy in the form of ATP, along with other important molecules like NADH and FADH2. This energy is crucial for cellular functions, including muscle contraction, nerve impulses, and the synthesis of new cellular components. Intermediary metabolism includes both anabolic and catabolic pathways. Anabolic pathways require energy and are involved in building complex molecules from simpler ones. For example, using energy from ATP, these pathways can synthesize proteins from amino acids, glycogen from glucose, and fats from fatty acids. On the other hand, catabolic pathways release energy by breaking down complex molecules into simpler ones, such as glucose being broken down into pyruvate and then into acetyl-CoA. These pathways are highly regulated by hormones, substrate availability, and other metabolic intermediates. For example, high ATP levels can inhibit glycolysis, while low ATP levels stimulate it. Similarly, citrate levels can influence the synthesis of fatty acids by stimulating acetyl-CoA carboxylase. In the brain, intermediary metabolism is particularly specialized due to the high energy demands. Here, glucose is the primary source of energy, and its metabolism is tightly regulated to ensure a constant supply of ATP. The brain also uses glycogen as a dynamic energy store, and its synthesis and degradation are controlled by enzymes like glycogen synthetase. In summary, Intermediary metabolism is the intricate network of biochemical reactions that convert our dietary nutrients into energy, cellular components, and other essential molecules. It's a highly regulated and coordinated process that ensures our bodies function optimally, whether we're resting or actively engaging in physical activities.